here we are, guys. Welcome to the final mascot mashup. The final mascot mashup. That's all it is. Each mascot mashup championship. This, guys, is what you have all been waiting for. The final mascot mashup game. Cannot believe it. We finally made it. Final mascot mashup. Let's get this. Yes, sir. You or Purdue versus Mississippi State. Playing at UTEP Stadium, of course, the most goaded stadium there is. It's gonna be a fire game. I already know. Purdue guys beat one in their bracket. They beat Texas in the national championship. They beat Texas in their championship. Thirty-one to zero. Purdue won. Absolutely dominant mascot team. And Mississippi State beat Ohio in their championship. And now here they are in the final championship. Yo, what's up? I agree, but how you doing, man? Thanks for making it. So Nick, your school. Bro, I don't know how y'all are in school, bro. But tell y'all tell y'all's principal and the teachers, bro. You should not be going to school this late, bro. Actually, though, I don't know why y'all are going to school this late. But thanks for coming, though. I appreciate that, my guy. And wait, stop there. I'm Mississippi State. Stopping uh, this uh, tough Purdue offense who scored 31 on Texas. Not even that overall defense. Purdue's the Alabama mascot mashup for real, though. Purdue is cracked the mascot mashup. Those of you. That was a long time ago, but yeah. Those of you who remember. Mississippi State, though, also very good. They have a really good defense. It's Mississippi State's defense versus Purdue's offense, in my opinion. But, but, but also, Mississippi State has a really good offense. It's that air raid that works good with the CPU. The air raid with the CPU. That's why I'm thinking Mississippi State could win this. We're going to go with a screenplay and Purdue all over it, man, of course. Wow. We should have fans here. That sounds so weird. There's like never any fans. But we're, we're getting used to it now. Got, we had to play in the UTEP's football stadium, of course. You already know. Third and 14, he's throwing it deep, but he's got a man. Rora Thomas, 18 yards. What a play there. As they cross over into Purdue territory. First down. And with a handoff, interesting move there on Mississippi State. Normally don't run it. Uh, who do you guys think is going to win the NBA Finals? For those of you who watch the NBA. I think it's going to be the Warriors versus the Celtics. I think the Warriors are going to get it done. Second and seven, throwing it out. Not going to get much. Third or third and five. UTEP Goat Memorial Stadium. <laughs> yes, sir. Gotta, gotta remember the goats. UTEP Miners. And another first down there. This Mississippi State offense proven to be true. Wow. I mean, Purdue literally scored zero. They scored zero. Texas scored zero on Purdue. And I'm not sure what that play is. Celtics are going to win. I feel like they could. I think it's going to be Celtics versus Warriors. So. It's going to be a fire NBA playoffs. NBA finals. Second down. He's looking. He's going to throw it short there. And he could not, not even get the first down. Third and two. Mississippi State facing another third down here. They've converted two times already on this drive. Will Rogers has been impressive so far. As always on these simulations. Third and two. He's going to throw it out. And there he is. Short five yard pass to Makai Polk. That is going to be a first down. And Mississippi State came ready to play in this mess cup match. What's up, being the high effort? Imagine if Purdue wins this one. It wouldn't surprise me at all, though. They're actually cracked in the mascot match, but they have not been they have not been performing the usual standards so far. And Mississippi State has been doing really good here. Do they have enough time for another play? I'm not sure. They do. It's going to be a first and goal. Throw it out, open man, but not going anywhere. Purdue defense swarming there. And as it takes us to the second quarter, both defenses 
playing well, but Mississippi State just taking a long time in this drive. Purdue cannot stop them on third down. It's happened three times. And good delayed handoff there. They make another third down. Can Purdue stop them? They've converted three times on this drive. Purdue's third down defense has let them down. Let's see if they can convert. It's going to go up the middle. They get the stop this time. Clutch stop there by Purdue. They're going to hold them to a field goal here. Did not want to give up a touchdown, and that's exactly what they're going to do. What a hold there. And that is going to be 3-0. to zero. Mississippi State taking the lead here. Just under two and a half to go before halftime. Purdue's got to put together a good drive. Last time out, not so good. And now here's the matchup everybody wants to see. Uh, Purdue's offense versus Mississippi State's defense. Two of the be best offense and best defense in my opinion. As Purdue goes, and they're going to get hit. Jack Plummer manages to pick up seven yards there. Purdue trying to get the ground game established, I think. Hasn't worked so far, though. Second and three. Zero yard handoff. Third and four. I don't know. Purdue went 17 to six. I don't know, man. I think Mississippi State's defense is, I think, is better than Purdue's offense. I think Mississippi State's defense is that good. There they are, right there. Purdue getting stopped again. This is first pass of the game, by the way, but fourth and three. Good stop there by the Bulldogs. Purdue could be in trouble here. It could be in trouble. Not a bad return there. 14 yards. Yeah, minute and 45 on the clock. So, Mississippi State. Mississippi State has plenty of time to go and score here. Gonna throw a short pass, and there he is. He's got a man. Look how high Polk. 17 yards. Down right the middle. And Mississippi State already has the ball at midfield. Set first and Tad here. He's gonna take off. About three yards there. Nothing too crazy. Give me a second down. Mississippi State taking their time. See what they got here. They're gonna set a blitz and that leaves the tight end open. Or the receiver open there. I don't know. They hit, got a hit on the quarterback, but man. Purdue just getting torn up by this air raid defense or offense right now. Jeez. Air raid offense. He's run the same play again. 18 yards. Mississippi State driving down the field. Purdue not able to stop them. Guys, Mississippi State is looking really good right now. Seven first downs to zero. They only get one yard in that rush, and Purdue, their goal line defense has been pretty good today, and he's going to force a throw out. That's third and nine, Purdue. Purdue's defense clutching up here. Their goal line, their goal line defense is really good. The Reds there defense seems to be really good today. Let's see, he's got all the time he wants, and the end zone finds it, man! And it's going to be a touchdown! Mississippi State! What a drive by the Bulldogs! Drove all the way down the field. That's going to be 10-0. to Mississippi State with 44 seconds to go in the second quarter. Wow. Mississippi State has been dominating Purdue. Purdue only has five yards to show for it. David Bell doesn't even have a reception. What is going on with Purdue right now? Seems to be all out of sync right now. But they still do have time to drive it on the field. Got to throw it, and there's a completion. Seven yards there, but so they got they still have time to <clears throat> put together a drive here. But I believe Mississippi State will be getting the ball at the start of the third quarter as well. So Purdue, I think they're not looking good for Purdue right now. They got to pick up a first down. So first of the game, David Bell's first reception right there. Thirty-six seconds on the clock. Purdue, Purdue's going to have to start throwing the football. They want to have a chance. 
And he's throwing down the field. And there's a man. He's got him. Breaks two tackles. Still going. Touchdown, Purdue. David Bell, 63 yards. And just like that, Purdue is back in the game. They run the streak, and David Bell gets lost in the coverage. 10 to 7 Boilermakers. Making it a three point game here. What an absolute strike. And that makes it 10 to 7. What an absolute throw. Broke two tackles as well. Hope is not lost yet. Yeah, for real. Just like I forgot Purdue. Just like that, man. They can do that. Hardly any of the mascot teams can do that, except for Purdue. Wow, 10-7. They're throwing a the screen pass. Can't get it off in time. And Purdue looks like they've woken up, finally. This is going to make it 10-7. Here are 25 seconds to go. They run another screen play. They get it off this time, but it's not going anywhere. And Mississippi State most likely going to be going to halftime here. Purdue not wasting their time out. So this is most likely going to be the last play if they do run a play, which they probably won't. Let's see if they do run a play here. They will not. Or they will. Throwing a wide open man. Anybody gets caught though. That was a scary break there for Purdue. Almost gave up another touchdown. And Purdue going to kick it off to Mississippi State. 10 to 7 here. Third quarter action. They're going to bring it out. And that was a mistake. They lose about uh, five extra yards they would have had. So Mississippi State starting off with not very good field position here. Let's see if Purdue can get a stop here. You gotta throw it. And, ooh, I was almost intercepted. Threw that into double coverage. Risky pass there by Rodgers. So we got second and ten. Got all the time he wants. Gonna throw it short and he misses the tackle, but there's more Boilermakers that are swarming. It's gonna be third down. Third and ten here. Gonna run the screen play. He gets it off. What a well run play. But he cannot pick up the first down. Fourth and three. What a stop by Purdue. It's just what they needed. And now they're going to get the ball back. The chance to take the lead. Yo, what's up, King Amari? How you doing, my guy? Thanks for tuning in to the last mascot mashup. So, pick a good stream and tune in to First down, Purdue with the ball. They're going to have the option. Interesting call there in Mississippi State. Their defense, man, bad. If you got that big 63 yard pass. Probably not going to happen again, but you never know. Second and 12. We're going to go with a handoff counter. Not going to get much at all. And Mississippi State looks like they're going to force a three and out here. Purdue, their rush offense has just not been there today. I think they need to stick with the pass. Third and 12, he's looking. He's got time, he's throwing it down the field. And it's caught! Are you kidding me, David Bell again? David Bell, 125 yards of the day. He finds him again. And just like that, Purdue is down to the 13 yard line. Holy crap, they're going with the run to the outside. One yard there. And Purdue, just like that, have the ball at the Mississippi State seven yard line. Ain't no way. It's Purdue, man. They're insane at mascot mashup. He almost breaks the tackle and gets tripped up there. Man, Purdue, Mississippi State's been shutting down their rush attack. Uh, but the air, man, has been open. Third and goal. He's got time. He's looking. Throw it short and it's caught for a touchdown! Jackson Anthrop and Jack Plummer, 6 for 6, 143 yards and 2 touchdowns. 
and Purdue takes the lead with 45 seconds to go. This is intense, man. Purdue takes back the lead. So Mississippi State started off 10 to 0, and now Purdue has scored two unanswered touchdowns, making it 14 to 10 with only 45 seconds in the third quarter. You said it, I agree, but you said there was still hope, and you are right. It's David Bell. Absolutely starts going off. With only 45 seconds to go here before the fourth quarter, Mississippi State needs to get something going here. Five yard reception there. I agree, but you said Malik Willis is the best quarterback in the draft. I can see that. I really do. I'm glad he went to the Titans because that's where Traylon Burks went to, so he should be have a good quarterback throw into him. And Mississippi State picks up a first down there. Will Rogers has been outstanding today. 17 completions for 159 yards and a touchdown. Looking down the field. Nine yards, second and one. You're ready for Purdue. Purdue is the people's champ. That's going to bring us to the fourth quarter. Ball at the midfield. Plenty of time for Mississippi State to score and for Purdue to score. So ball at the Mississippi State 49. And they need to get a touchdown. No field goals here because they're down by four. Take a quick play. Caught. First down. That air raid off. It's tough, man. Six, just four, uh, four yard, five yard reception over and over again. What's going on here? There's a mascot mashup championship. Mississippi State versus Purdue. I did a tournament. Oh my gosh. Loses six yards. It's going to be second and 16. Mississippi State won their side of the bracket. Purdue won their side of the bracket. And this is the, the winner of this is crowned, as according to NCAA 14, the best mascot in uh, college football. So with 2.30 left to go. It's going to be a third and 16 for Mississippi State. Not looking good for the Bulldogs right now. The defensive line gets in there, and Purdue is going to get a, a stop here. Let's see if Mississippi State is going to punt it or go for it. They're going to punt it. They're going to trust their defense, which is probably a good idea because Purdue is probably going to be punting. I mean, not Purdue, but Purdue's probably going to be running the football. And it's going to be into the end zone, not what they wanted, but almost the perfect punt. I've been a fan of Malik Willis ever since his first game of Liberty. Yeah, I know he's their second favorite team. I knew that. So it's just over two minutes to go. And there's a big gap there. And it's going to be a first down. That is not good. Two minutes to go. Mississippi State does not cannot give up any more first downs or the game is over. They're going to run it. And that's a good start there for the Bulldogs. Purdue, if they get a stop right here, two more plays. Mississippi State needs to get a stop on both. Two more plays. Let's see. Going to throw it short. It's going to pick up about six yards. Going to be a third and six. Two minutes to go. Wait, Mississippi State needs a stop right here. He's throwing it. He got a man wide open. First down, Boilermakers. And that is not good for the Bulldogs. That could be it. Purdue starting to run out the clock here. He had a good uh, minus three yard rush. As you can see, only 120 left. Purdue probably has a 99% chance to win right now. It could be over. Three yards, third and 10. There's just not, there's not enough time. It, Mississippi State doesn't have any timeouts. They're kneeling it. The game is over. Purdue pulls off the comeback. The comeback of the century. They don't have to punt it to it. They don't have to punt it. Look at the play clock. Look at the time. It's over. Guys, Purdue pulls off a sensational comeback. Are you serious? Mississippi State was leading 10 to 0 in the second quarter. And then Purdue came back and scored 14 unanswered. And it is over. Wow. 
The Purdue Boilermakers are your mascot mashup champions. Holy crap. What a game. David Bell with the, is definitely the MVP of the game. Wow. What a game, man. Jack Plummer had an outstanding game as well, but... Wow, man, that was crazy. The legendary mascot mashup is over. Yep. Unfortunately, that is it, guys. It was fun. But you have to admit, it lasted way too long. It was supposed to be over a long time ago. But it's going to be, most likely. But Purdue, guys. If you ever play... So, guys, take this as, take this as a lesson. If you ever play a mascot mashup with your friends on NCAA 14, be sure to pick Purdue. They are just that good. They are, they are just tough, man. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this stream. Uh, it was really, it was a really fun one. I'd say it's probably top five mascot mashup game of all time. Nothing will ever beat the Alabama vs. USC game. That wasn't really a mascot mashup, but it was my college football tournament. Alabama vs. USC game, that was crazy. It's lasted for over a year, yeah, it has. I started, like, after last, I started, like, last year, around March. But, it was fun. So, uh... Anyways, thank you guys for those of you who tuned into the stream. It was a really good stream, I think, but really good game. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to like the stream. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. I thank you guys for those of you who stick, that, stick it out with uh, Mascot Mashup for this entire time. Uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you who watched the channel. And... Uh, Probably having a Princeton video this Saturday, so don't forget to check that out. Saturday or Sunday, one of the two. That was a crazy game, dude. Crazy way to end it. And, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much. And, uh, I don't know when the next stream will be, so. It'll be sometime soon, probably, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.